Springtime in the yachting industry is very busy indeed, since yacht owners are keen to take delivery of their new yachts, and shipyards have their nose to the grindstone to make sure that they're delivered on time. Many of the larger yachts, though, are subject to sometimes months of sea trials before they can be delivered, so it's not unusual that there's news of significant launches even at this early in the year. Now, I know that viewers of my channel are always very interested to hear of news of that sort. Many, in fact, subscribe to the channel to make sure they don't miss out on that great content. So I'm very happy to report back to you on some very significant news. The first yacht comes from a company that I actually don't think I've ever mentioned before in my vlogs, and that is Hargrave. In 1991, the founder of the company, Jack Hargrave, designed a 184-foot yacht built by Amels in Holland and called Catamarino. But since then, he went on to design scores of successful smaller yachts, such as the 35-meter Missy B2, the 41-meter Dreamer, and the 31-meter FML. Now, though, the time has come for them to announce the launch of another sizable yacht, Coincidentally, exactly the same size as Catamarino. It's at 184 foot, but very different indeed in styling. This is such a very modern looking yacht. And although information is rather thin on the ground for now, I would say it looks very much like it has a fast displacement hull design. Hargraves say that the owner has been very involved indeed in this project and that more information will be forthcoming. As a matter of fact, they plan to show the yacht at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show later this year. The president of Hargrave Yachts is Michael Joyce, who's a real part of the history of yacht building in the United States, and also contacts me from time to time with kind comments about my YouTube channel. I mention this because Michael is a pretty mean YouTuber himself. I just love the natural way he has in front of the camera. So I put a link to one of his videos in the description below so that you can check him and the Hargrave channel out. Personally, I wish he'd produce more videos. If you do too, then leave him plenty of comments on his channel and tell him I sent you. And from historic Hargrave, we move on to fabulous Fedship, who have just announced the launch of this spectacular 58 meter yacht called Najiba, which by the way means noble. Fedship say that this yacht was built for a very experienced owner, which I think is probably often the case with Fedship, since it is a shipyard that yacht owners gravitate towards after years of experience. The owner wanted this to be a family super yacht, so you can be sure that it will be highly customized to meet the precise requirements necessary for family use. She has two master staterooms, which in itself is quite an unusual feature. And the yacht was built with no central staircase. So when one of the master staterooms is open, you can see all the way through the yacht right to the bow. More information about the owner and his family is that they have great appreciation for architecture and design. So Vitruvius Yachts and Philippe Briand were called in as naval architects and designers. And the Fedship press release calls the interior beautiful, complex, and with a number of unique features. Time will tell if we get to see what those interiors look like. For now, the shipyard have only released images of the exterior profile. Now, if you watched the video that I published quite recently where I made a presentation at a Super Yacht Investor Conference, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Fedship's YouTube channel. They produce some fantastic stuff. And recently, they published a video about what they call the Fedship carte blanche experience, which allows potential buyers and other interested parties to design their own Fedship on a touch screen that's as thin as a piece of paper. It's done in a very clever way, understanding the tastes of the user and ending up by delivering a video of that yacht itself. As I was watching that on YouTube, I thought my viewers would really enjoy this video. So I've put a link to it in the description below. Now enough of this promoting other people's companies and time for me to give you a little bit of shameless self-promotion. Northrop & Johnson recently signed the Central Agency Agreement on a wonderful yacht 
and I shall be flying to Miami soon to film it. Let me tell you all about it. Tutela Marine is a 46 meter leopard yacht that has so many great features, I really do need to give it some serious thought before deciding on what to focus on in the promotional video. The draft will certainly be a major feature that I do want to showcase. At just five feet, this is the perfect super yacht to keep in the Bahamas. And since she is lying in Miami, I think it's quite possible that a potential buyer will in fact want to keep her in the area and use her for cruising to Nassau or to the Exumas. This shallow draft is due in part to the fact that the yacht has water jets. Now, as yacht owners will know, propellers can sometimes be the lowest point of a yacht that hit the rocks or a sandbank. So if the yacht has no propellers, that can be a great advantage in shallow waters. Honestly though, there is so much to showcase on this wonderful yacht, from the amazing array of water toys to the stunning Italian interior. I feel honored to be representing such an incredible vessel along with my colleagues, and I just can't wait to get over there and to start filming. I'll be sharing this listing with two of my colleagues. One is actually the CEO of Northrop & Johnson, so he's ideal to share the listing with, and it's actually located quite close to his office as well. The other colleague is Ed Dickinson, who's one of the greatest analytical minds in yachting, as tenacious as a dog with a bone, and quite frankly, one of the most straight shooting and honest people I've ever met. And that's what we do at Northrop & Johnson that's a little bit different to any other brokerage that I've worked with. We team up so that everybody in the team can bring something to the party that will be to the benefit of the yacht owner to help him get his yacht sold as quickly as possible and for the best possible price. Now I mention that because I know that there are some yacht owners who do watch this channel and I want you to know that when the time comes for you to sell your yacht, I would love to do the same thing for you to produce the best possible marketing content to showcase your yacht in the best possible way to the greatest possible audience. All you need to do is just reach out and get in touch. For everybody else watching this video, I am massively grateful for the growing number of subscribers and views that I'm seeing. I do hope that you find these videos to be informative and also entertaining and that they help you to keep your passion for yachting alive.